Hey everyone, it is the Nature Man and thanks for tuning in to another Nature Man Adventures. Today we're going to set up a brand new tent that I ordered through Amazon. And yes, I did decide to go with a freestanding tent. So I'm going to get it out of the backpack. I've already set it up at home, but I'll show you the components and then we'll get it set up and show you how it looks. All right, folks, it is a hot summer day. It's in the mid 70s, somewhat humid. So this is probably the worst time to try to set up this tent, but actually maybe the best. But anyways, like I said, I already set up the tent at home, get a feel for how it works. But inside of my pouch here, I have the rainfly and the tent itself. So this here is the rainfly. This here is the tent. It does come with a floor mat. Your stakes and guy lines are inside this pouch and your tent poles are in here. So before I go any further, folks, let me tell you what this tent is. It is the Nature Hike Cloud Up One Person Tent. It is a freestanding tent, but it does require some stakes for the backside to stretch it out so that it fits. So first off, we have the mat it comes in this pouch. And you will need this on the ground if you want to protect the tent. It's not necessary to set up the tent because the poles will actually go into the tent itself. But this just helps protect it. And why not? So it has this back corner that's triangular shaped. And then the front side is squared off. So this also gives you a good idea of how much space you need for the tent. All right. I already have a spider on there. All right. So as you can see, I've got the footprint or the mat laid out. This will be the front. This will be the back side. Now I've seen other YouTube channels setting up this tent a couple of different ways. But the way I'm going to try it out today, which I didn't do at home, is lay out the tent on here first. Then I'll grab the poles because I can stick all the poles into all of the grommets. So let's see if we've got the right side here. All right. So I, I will show you in just a second, but each corner, just like the mat has the grommets and these have buckles because the fly sheet will buckle into this side or you can buckle it to here, depending on how you want to set it up. So let me get the poles and actually what I'll do is I will stake down the corners just so I can get this situated first. All right, so inside the pouch, you'll have this plastic bag with the 12 stakes and then the extra guy lines here to guy line out the tent. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is what they look like. Just your standard, very lightweight pegs as the notch here. Okay. So let's see here. And each one of these come with these loops here that you can basically take it to the ground like so.
All right, just like your tent pegs, comes inside that pouch in the plastic. Your poles actually do the same thing inside of here. Which I guess would make for a little bit easier to pull them out. And it actually has this center spot right here. So this is going to go in the front and then in the back it goes into the corner there. And you'll see that it actually has a bend so you'll know which way to go. So hopefully you guys can see this. There's a bend right here. So it indicates this, the direction this is going to go. So this is going to hook into the back. And then these two hook into the front. And we're almost done, folks. Then all you got to do is hook it. So the way this works is this actually hooks in here like so. So it's just a twist and lock. Twist and lock. Twist and lock. And then to tighten everything down, you have these line locks. You can just pull it, get it to the tension you need, and you're good to go. On the side here, you actually have another hook, which is actually a buckle. And when you add your fly sheet, this is going to help hold this out to give you a little more width on the inside. All right, folks, it is a hot summer day, so I'm not going to keep the fly sheet on here very long. But I just want to demonstrate how you put it on. It's really, really simple, as long as you're not me. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to keep in mind is, and I made this mistake when I first set this up, is I thought that this logo has to be facing outside, but it doesn't. It actually faces on the, like this. So it's a subtle, subtle difference, but makes a big difference impact on how you set this up. Basically you're just following the same shape because you have the corners, that corner, and then you have the front, which is wide, and has a vent here. And like I said, it actually has this buckle that attaches to the side and you can pull this out and tension it. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And the beauty of this system is you don't need to use several stakes in order to stake it down. You just need one stake with all these loops to keep everything in place. All right, let me give you a closer look, folks. So it does come with one vent here. And then, like I said, all you have to do here is just using the uh, guy line with the stake here to stake this out. And you actually have another one here. So you could actually double this up like that. Same thing on this side here. And then, like I said, you have this here, tension out. There is, like I said, that buckle that is right here that would attach all the way over to there. Oop, right over there, there's that buckle. And this would attach to that. 
So if you want to lengthen this out, you could. There's a logo, beautiful view of the pond. And then here's one of the back corners. Like I said, basically all three of these are attached to the one stake. So you're not having to use multiple stakes. They all have these loops that just loop in place. Now let's see how gracefully I can open this up. And you can toggle this in place. And let's go inside. Butt shot, give, give the butt shot. Hello! Ah! I'll bring you in just a second. All right, all right, I know you want to go inside and look, I'm already getting it dirty inside. Uh, that's why I'm not going too far, but there's the way in the back where your feet would be. And like I said, I can stretch it out a little bit more. And then, uh, there's the ceiling. There's actually a hook here, so if you want to hook a light, you can. <laughs> Like I said, you can pull these out to give more room off to the sides here. Pull these out if you want. All right. Oh, I got to be careful all the pollen. But anyways, this is the opening. And you've got your vestibule that you can um, cook out from. And, whoops, give you some perspective. Hopefully you can see me. I got plenty of headroom. I'm only five foot five, so... I'm not needing a lot of headspace to sit up, but it's perfect for me. Someone who's taller might feel a little tight. I would probably go with the, the two-person version to give you a little more extra room for the width and for the height. But overall, not bad, folks. And as you can see, look how much space you have there. Pulled out like that. Oops. Pulled out like there. So, beautiful views. So essentially, there would be there should be plenty of ventilation. Now, I've just been moving around. I'm hot. There's pollen all over the place. My phone is loaded with pollen, which is crazy, folks. So, I'm going to have to wipe that down. But, yeah. I mean, as you can see, I put my feet down towards the end here. And hopefully, you can see, I still have plenty of room. I mean, I could literally stuff stuff to the back side of here. And I would still have plenty of room. <sighs> if I were to lay down like this. Or like I said, the head would be down at the other end. But I still have plenty of room. I have an arm's length. Hopefully you guys can see that from that angle. <clears throat> plenty and plenty of room for me. Okay. Whew. This is a workout, folks, for me because it's hot out. So I'm going to try to cool off. I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. All right, folks, there you go. The Nature Hike Cloud Up One Person Tent. If you're interested, it does come as a two-person and three-person version. You can check that out on Amazon and also the Nature Hike website. The dimensions of this, which I did not mention earlier, 82 inches long, 42 inches wide, and 39 inches tall. So for a one-person tent, I actually think that's pretty decent if you ask me. And as you can see, it's not that difficult to get in and out. You do have to squat down a little bit, but... I was also looking at some of those bivy tents and you basically have to do the same thing is get in a lower position to get in them and there are different ones out there where you get in from the front you can get in from the sides and overall when i started thinking about the difference between a bivy tent a trek and pole tent and then a regular freestanding tent the appeal is with a freestanding tent you can place it roughly anywhere as long as the ground is relatively flat and to pitch it it doesn't take a whole lot you don't need the floor mat if you don't want it but for that added protection it's always good to have and it comes with the package that's the thing it comes absolutely in the package so why not use it if you have it so there you go folks if you're interested i'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out on the amazon website and yeah just enjoy getting out there try out some new gear for yourself Enjoy every moment of life, and I'll catch up with you very soon.